Karen asks, can you tell me why I have Spotify and GarageBand in my files app under on my iPhone? The files app on your iPad and iPhone and the Finder app on a Mac, they're designed to show where your files and folders are stored. And it's not necessarily just on your iPad. So if I open up my files app, on the left hand side, I have iCloud Drive and inside the iCloud Drive, you can see here, I've got all of these folders that I use on my computers, iPads and, and phone, and they are the same folders on each of my devices. So if I go to my iPhone and open up the files app here, and I go to the iCloud drive, you'll see they are the same as they are here on the iPad. So this is awesome. It's great. I don't have to think about is a file on one device or is it on another? except if I misfile it or accidentally don't put it in the iCloud. Now you'll notice here on my phone that it has a on my iPhone option here. And when we go to my iPad, it doesn't have that option. And that's because on the iPad, I have deliberately come into these three dots in the circle and touched on edit sidebar and I've turned off on my iPad because I don't want to store any files only on my iPad. If I store a file only on my iPad and I drop my iPad, I potentially could lose that file. I also couldn't see that file if I'm trying to access it from my phone or from my Mac computer or a Windows computer because it would only exist on your iPad. So at some point in the past, Karen, you didn't have the iCloud switched on or that particular app didn't have the iCloud setting on. And that iCloud setting can be under your settings, under your name, and then iCloud. And when we hit show all for all of the apps and features that can use your iCloud drive, you may have had Garage band, or I can't remember what was the other one, turned off here. It just, or it just wasn't talking at the time to the cloud. So, I what I tend to do is I jump into the files app, I look under the things that are on my iPad, and here there's only a few. And I think, do I need these? Like, they're still here on my device. Do I want to see them and accidentally save things here? No. So I, I just come up here and if I really want to keep them, I would actually select them and then move them across to iCloud. I get the dots and I can touch these and I can say, move them to my iCloud drive. It actually sends a copy. It doesn't move them. It's a little bug of apples, but it, it's there, but once I've copied them to my iCloud drive, I go back to these three dots, I edit the sidebar, and I just hide on my iPad, done. And then on the phone, I'd do the same. I'd go here to the iPhone, and I'll go to Files, and I'll touch the three dots in the circle up the top here, Edit, and Turn Off on my iPhone. And that way I'm only saving files to the clouds. Now already you can see that I could get myself into trouble. Those of you who are observant would notice that here on my phone, I've got iCloud Drive, Google Drive, and OneDrive. And on my iPad, I only have iCloud Drive. Now that could get me into a dilemma where I save something to the Google Drive on the phone, but I can't see it on the iPad because I don't have it turned on. Now, all of these drives, all of these iClouds, it's, oh my God, it's so confusing. What's the difference between them all? So just think of them like a filing cabinet. One of them is in Google's building. One of them is in Apple's building. The, the OneDrive is in micro, Microsoft's building. So you've got these filing cabinets that are different buildings. And then where did I file it? Which filing cabinet did I file it in? What a nightmare. You only want one filing cabinet. So pick one. I normally pick iCloud for personal, 
and I use my Google Drive for business. I only have the OneDrive there for customers out there who use Microsoft products so that I can relate to them and I know how it works, but I don't use OneDrive on a daily basis. Ideally, try and just use iCloud. Let me know in the comments section, are you using more than just iCloud? Do, do you have Google Drive, OneDrive on my iPad listed in your files app? Because if you do, we need to work at getting all of those files out of all, those, all of those different filing cabinets and bringing them back to one filing cabinet. You've got to make it easy for you.